Hello, Maria. Um, this is Mike. Um, hopefully you will, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes because I have to upload it to YouTube. Um, I tried using the, the video response on, on, on uh, Facebook, but for some reason it's stupid. It doesn't want to work. So I got to upload it to YouTube. Um, the point and shoot can Canon that I recommended, um, I would actually buy that one because um, I still got to find out if the lenses are switchable. If they're not, then I mean it's got one hell of a lens on there. It's got a excellent, excellent lens on there. Um, you want to? Um, you can't go wrong with that one. For for being a point and shoot, you be in love with it um, even if it's not switchable if you're a beginner if you're just beginning that's how I started off with a point and shoot and I worked my way up to a DSLR the one I have is a Sony A350 A as an Apple 350 Google it um, Google that one uh, not Google it I mean I'm sorry uh, uh, I on YouTube, put Canon, I mean, uh, Canon, um, put um, Sony A350 review, okay? You want to, you, you want to keep that um, and check, check out the review because what I love about it, um, it comes with all kinds of accessories, you know, accessories. And it also comes with um, a tilt screen, which I love. You know, if instead of using the viewfinder, you could put it on live view, and you could see what you're shooting on on your on your LCD screen, and you could you could tilt it to do a low shot, or you could tilt it backwards to go over somebody's head. You know that type of thing. It's very user friendly. Um, you can still find it, I believe, on Sony.com. Canons and Nikon's are okay. Uh, they're excellent cameras because I used to work for Lowrider magazine. Um, there's one Canon that my friend has. It's called the D7 or the 7D or something like that. You might want to check that one out. That was also user-friendly. But some of the Nikons and Canons, which I see a lot of people at Disneyland, you know, where, you know, you know, using and stuff like that, um, they're more... They're more, not saying difficult to use because I used to use them for Lowrider Magazine. Um, they're easy to use once you get to know them, but they're a little bit more difficult, you know, more advanced. And, um, but they're excellent cameras, you know, so you might want to check out Canon.com or Nikon.com and look at their cameras and see, you know, or talk to a representative. Um, I, I, off the top of my head right now, I don't know because it's early in the morning, um, so I can't even think right now which Canon or Nikon model is a good one to use. Um, but my Sony can't go wrong with that one. Uh, that's the Sony A350, Alpha 350. Um, they're all alphas. They're all called alphas, and um, I'll. I'll that camera I'm going to stay with a long time. Um, I'm in love. I'm totally in love with that camera. Um, you can switch out all the lenses, you know, accessories, all kinds of stuff to it. So do a YouTube review on that one, the Sony A350 review. Um, you'll, you'll end up liking that one a lot um, if you do go with a DSLR. Um, the point and shoot Canon that I recommend it, um, that one I am going to buy regardless if it does have a, a switchable um, um, lenses or not, because you know it's always good to have a backup. And I, I love the lens that's on there already. I mean that sucker will zoom out really, really good. Um, you can find that one on, on Amazon.com. And it comes with uh, the flower, the flower lens cap, you know, for the sunshade, um, which, you know, you won't find at any other place. 
you know, just Amazon, I believe, is the only one that carries that. And what I mean by that, the flower lens cap, is, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like this, okay? It comes with this little thing, a little bobber. So, and that's what I'm going to be using on my Sony, which is a lot better. If you're going to, if you're going to be practicing your photography, the best place in the world to take pictures besides parks and beaches and stuff like that I found is Disneyland. Since I have pa annual passes, I take pictures all the time at Disney. Even I'm, I'm still practicing. You know, you know, you can't get enough practicing. So try that out and let me know if you have any more questions. Just, you know, hit me up and I'll try to do the best I can to help you out. Okay? Take care. Bye-bye.